Hello students, welcome to this session. Today I am going to talk about fasting therapy and dietetics. First is uh, definition of fasting. Fasting is the abstinence of certain kind of food and drinks for a certain period of time. There's a lot of types of fastings are there. One is religious fasting, one is political fasting, one is therapeutic fasting. Religious fasting, uh, we know, especially in India, we, we, are, we have a lot of religion, especially Hindus, we follow fasting uh, since thousands of years. It is mentioned in Vedas, in, it, which is mentioned in Upanishads, which is uh, mentioned in Ayurveda. Especially Hindus, they follow fasting during Shivaratri, during Navaratri, during uh, full moon day, new moon day, uh, Sankhya Chaturthi. A lot of, lot of times uh, Hindus, uh, they follow fasting to gain spiritual knowledge and to maintain the health. I like that uh, Muslims, they follow fasting uh, during Ramzan. Ramzan, one, one month, they completely they follow fasting. And Christians, they follow fasting during uh, Good Friday. One month, they follow fasting. Even in Jainism, fasting has mentioned. In Buddhism, fasting has been mentioned. Sikhism, fasting has been mentioned. Even in all religion, uh, fasting has been mentioned and its benefits uh, uh, everything is explained thoroughly. So, and uh, next one is political fasting. To get the political benefit, achieve the targets, a uh, lot of people follow the fasting, not only in India, in the whole world, especially Mahatma Gandhi, one of the main examples to get the freedom. He follows the fasting and, and uh, non-violence, and from that he got uh, uh, this uh, freedom. So now third one is uh, therapeutic fasting. Therapeutic fasting is mainly short, long and intermittent fasting. Short fasting is given in acute diseases like uh, fever, uh, diarrhea, skin uh, infections, conditions. Uh, we follow short fasting, one or two days of fasting with lemon juice, honey, uh, and with uh, giving enema and hippopath, small treatments. Uh, feverish condition, we give fa fasting uh, only with lemon juice and we follow uh, sponge bath. And the intermittent fasting has given, uh, it's uh, skipping one meal or two meals uh, we are skipping, only one meal giving, two meals we are giving fruits or juices, uh, especially condition like type 2 diabetes mellitus. Because type 2 diabetes mellitus, they say, there is no uh, stored glycogen. So they can't follow fasting for 24 hours, 48 hours. So they have to take at least one meal, one meal, normal meal and other two meal juices or fruits they are taking. In some conditions, uh, we follow in old age and all, we follow intermittent fasting. And third one is long fasting. Long fasting goes 7 to 15 days, especially in conditions like obesity, the hypertension, uh, and chronic diseases like uh, psoriasis, eczema. These conditions are rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis and all this. Seven to low long fasting with juices, especially lemon juice with honey or carrot juice or tender coconut water. Uh, and after eighth day for breaking the fast with the musumi juice, ninth day going uh, for uh, fruit and uh, uh, fruits like papaya and buttermilk or papaya or apple or with soup, and uh, uh, tenth day we're going with the uh, raw vegetables. Eleventh day normal diet, that bland diet like uh, boiled vegetables uh, uh, and uh, uh, chapati or uh, boiled rice. Like this is kind of fasting is given in chronic diseases, uh, bronchial asthma, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, skin disease like uh, eczema conditions. Uh, we get a lot of benefits. Actually, what is fasting? What happens uh, during uh, fasting? Physiological and biochemical changes during fasting. First uh, 12 hours. Uh, you'll see increased growth hormone. Growth hormone increases while fasting, which helps for healing, healing condition, reduces inflammation, reduces aging. That growth hormone is one of the main hormone which increases during first 12, after 12 hours of the fasting. After 20, uh, 18 hours of fasting, there's a uh, autophagy happens. There's a complete destruction of the old pro proteins like uh, amyloids, amyloid tissues, amyloid uh, uh, tissues that, is, that has been destroyed, which is uh, old protein and uh, uh, carbohydrate mixed, uh, which is the main cause for degenerative disease like Alzheimer's disease and um, uh, like Parkinson's disease, which, is, uh, which has been clean, cleaned completely, 18 hours of fasting. After uh, 24 hours of fasting, uh, there is a uh, lot of changes uh, takes place uh, during fasting, after 24 hours. This is very important, after uh, 24 hours of uh, fasting, there is an increased uh, there's a formation of the ketone bodies. Why is this ketone body has formed means? Uh, 
Let's say stored glycogenous will be completely lost after 24 hours of fasting. There's no stored energy. So that uh, fats are utilized. Fat, uh, fat is converted to ketones while uh, metabolism. That ketones are very, uh, ketone bodies are very powerful uh, fuel than uh, glucose, which, is, which especially eliminates the uh, negatives of the, our body, uh, which activates your brain, which activates your heart. Cardiovascular systems are very act active and uh, brain uh, cells, new brain cells formation takes place because of uh, ketone bodies. Uh, because of BNDF, one of the uh, chemical formation takes place because of uh, ketone body formation, which, which activates your brain. Brain activity increases. Very good for uh, Parkinson's disease, dementia, and uh, uh, your, your forgetfulness uh, conditions. Uh, and also which, which increases your cognitive functions uh, and memory and all because of BND, BNDF chemical formation that acti activates your brain. Next, which also helps for gut uh, healing, gut cleaning, clean, cleaning, cleaning takes, takes place. Because they say in our gut, they say microbes are there. These microbes are especially, especially bacteria, which is very good, which helpful for our uh, maintenance of gut uh, functions. So, which will be whenever we have disease, there that will imbalance in gut bacteria takes place. Once we are fasting, that become very active. Microbes are very active and uh, which uh, removes the uh, what what we can call there's a pathogens causes uh, a problem to your gut, which will be completely cleaned. The gut will be healed and antioxidants, uh, which increases uh, during it after 24 hours of uh, fasting. Then after that, uh, after uh, 48 hours, there's a formation of the stem cells. The stem cells are very powerful cells uh, which destroys your cancer cells. And tumor cells, so uh, which increases after 48 hours. After 72 hours, which is maximum, this stem cell formation takes place, which is a very powerful tool to remove the uh, cancer cells. So immunity increases. The person becomes very powerful after the uh, 72 hours of the fasting. So, but we should follow a lot of. Uh, uh, criteria while fasting. It's not easy to f follow fasting. Uh, during fasting, the person should have, should take enema daily. Early morning, you should take enema. After that, you should drink three to four, four liters of water. And you should take cold hippo bath. Sitting in cold water is very important. And you should uh, away from kitchen. And um, uh, also, you should take maximum relaxation, uh, yoga sana, and uh, some of the pranayama you should f follow. And uh, away, away from always uh, noisy conditions, uh, always relaxed mood, uh, and uh, always should be should be happy. Uh, thank you, one and all.